Hi all, welcome to Night Rips. And time to oh, or rip into something I've opened before. No cards here because it was a set that somehow, I guess they didn't get the men memo that it was Insert Mania at this point. What I'm talking about is 1995 Top Stadium Club High Number. Now what I mean by not knowing it's Insert Mania, there was only two inserts in this, in this uh, product. And both of them, the odds were basically one per box. And that would be the Power Zone Power Matrix and the Crystal Ball Prismatic Foil. The Power Zone, I think, was out of 12. Crystal Ball is out of 15 or vice versa. I don't remember off the top of my head. Everything else was base. There are going to be Extreme Core and Transaction theme cards. Those are actually both part of the base set. And as we found before, and I actually looked into it a little bit more, it looks like we pulled the rainbow foil out of this one. So we will see with another rip of six packs. But before we get ripping, once again, let me invite you to join the channel, hitting that subscribe button below, and hitting the notify bell. So with that being said, we'll zoom in, take a look at some of these beautiful cards. Now, I was happy the first rip we did of this that these cards I mean, these are just, like, almost falling apart. Like, they're so loose. They're not sticking at all. Which is very, very odd for Stadium Club. You know, some of these get really, really stuck. And these aren't at all. So, we are going to find a lot of base. And we're going to find base that's actually duplicates, if you watched the previous video. Because this was a small, small set. Total of 135 cards to include... The Extreme Core, like this Barry Larkin. Very nice, Sony 9 home runs, but he wasn't known as a power hitter. More contact hitter and a great second baseman. And the transaction cards. This time for, who is that? Von, probably see it better on the back. Uh, Von Eshelman. There with Boston, who they had gotten him from the Orioles. These transaction cards are basically who were picked up in free agent or trades. There's a nice extreme, extreme core, and that's definitely an extreme one. The kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Now, at this point, he was a slugger. I mean, he had already hit 40 home runs, first on his team. 90 RBIs, 94 runs, definitely. I mean, look, it's... Except for batting average, he was first in every single category. And he is this year's hitting coach for the World Baseball Classic. Got ourselves another transaction. Kevin Brown. Obviously he went to the Orioles, but where did he come from? Rangers. Actually, I think I've pulled that one before. Between rips, I always forget who I pulled. There's Pat Borders. Can't remember them all. I bounce around so much. All right, Phil Plantier and Andy Stankiewicz actually kind of kind of stuck there a little bit. Obviously, Stankiewicz was previously, I want to say he was previously, but he spent time with the Yankees. But it wasn't part of the transaction. So let's go ahead and rip pack number two. All right. Yeah, definitely seeing a lot of repeat customers here, which we're expecting as I... Make sure these come apart just so I can go through them fast. Again, oh, that's something there. I don't know what it was. There's Andy Pettit. We've seen him before. Oh, and it is one of those. We do finally have one of our inserts. And I'm happy because it came apart really easy. There's Dave Winfield. This time with the Angels. Or no, sorry, the Indians. So used to seeing him all over the place. Totally get confused all the time. Doug Jones. Yeah, we definitely got something shiny in this one. John Burkett. We have an extreme core. Greg Vaughn. And he should actually have a lot of home runs. Let's take a look. Eh, not that many. 19. Still first for the Brewers. And a transaction of Scott Cooper. Have we seen Scott Cooper before? Went to the Cardinals, came from the Red Sox. There's Tim Salmon. 
the fish before trout, as I always like to say. Uh, American League Rookie of the Year, back whenever he started, there with the Angels. And he was a great one. I mean, look, 23 home runs. And you also have to remember, some of those numbers may look a little off. It is the 1994 season, which was a shortened season due to the strike. And there's Marquise Grissom. Just before we get to... Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, that is really nice. Jeff Bagwell, Power Zone. So this is one of those insert sets. Let me go ahead and I'll put the other cards down. Let's take a look at this one. I mean, obviously it's got that cool, I don't forget what they called this, because they, they also used the ring cards, had the same type of shining. It's almost like a foil, but it's not. And this is Power Zone number one. Jeff Bagwell, the Killer Bees. Let me see a Houston Astro. Hall of Famer gets to go on a stand because that is honestly a very, very pretty card. So we finally got something for the stand for the rest of the rips. There's John Nunley. Vitello. They were really not big in centering. I mean, look at how the foil is off. The print is off. Hmm. Don't know. Quality control was not job number one for a lot of these. Pack number three. Can okay, I break these up a little bit? Obviously, I didn't have to bring out the hair dryer for that power insert, so I am happy about that. Because when you, I always have to cut out a lot of dead air, dead air whenever I do hair dryer. Because just for those that's never done it before, it takes about 15 minutes to break apart two cards. There's Holbert. Yep. Felt a little thick, but he wasn't. Gerald Clark. Well, it's Jason Christensen. I'm trying to read the names because it is hard to read some of these gold prints. Especially the way the light is. And we got ourselves an extreme core, one we've already pulled before, Tony Gwynn. And another extreme core, one we haven't pulled. And actually, that one, I guess they're all like that. Just, I guess, with the blue, black background, that red pops a little bit more. But we got Cecil Fielder. 28 home runs. Again, it can be a little bit lower if you think about it. But they were as a, it was a strike season, so not quite as many games. Got Jeff King. More batted for... For uh, contact, because he's only home runs, is only five. And it's doing it again where we get the same extreme core in the same pack, and this will be another Tony Gwynn. Here's Ron Gant, this time with the Reds, former Brave, and he is a guy here in Atlanta that goes, you know, alumni all the time, and he's on the news. Not for a bad reason, because he actually works there, works as a morning anchor. For Fox 5, Steve Finley, and Mark McLemore. Three packs to go. It's funny. I, I know about Ron Gant because I would always watch Fox 5 in the morning before I'd have to commute into Atlanta. Uh, just because you, you want to know what you're up against. So I would always see him in the morning. Um, fortunately, I don't have to do that anymore. You know, post-COVID, I actually get to work from home now. So no more commuting. But... Yeah, whenever he, especially during COVID, you know, a lot of them were working from home, Kevin Ritz, you would always see him reporting and he'd have his bobbleheads behind him. I always thought that, that always made me laugh a little bit. I don't have any Ron Gant bobbleheads. There's Andres Galarraga there with the Extreme Core, pulled that one before, along with Jeff King, along with Sammy Sosa, quite a few of the same. And Galarago once again. Again, 135 cards. Be prepared to pull dupes. You didn't have to buy as many of this, unless you were actually insert chasing. Because the inserts were one per box. Uh, you know, at least of the power zone. And, of course, then we're going to see the crystal ball sometime. There's Joey Cora. Otis Nixon and Phil Planier. So you, if you really wanted them all, there was 
12 of one, 15 of the others. So just tell you how many packs you'd have to buy to chase. Of course, I'm only chasing base, so I'm not as crazy enough to try to chase all the inserts. I mean, if I was going to do that, I'd just buy them. I wouldn't try to rip packs. Because really, there'd be no point. I got a little bit of stick here. Nothing bad. Troy O'Leary. Lance Parrish. Definitely a lot of ones we've seen before. Dave Stewart, whose face is still plas plan plastered all over the Oakland's, uh, you know, the Oco, Oakland Coliseum. Lee Smith, we've seen him before. That's a transaction. Picked him up off a free agent. Of course, there's Sammy Sosa once again. I haven't put these to see where we are in the set. It's Will Clark, Extreme Core. Of course, Will Clark, know him from the Giants more, but he did go to Texas, 13 home runs. Terry Pendleton, the Marlins, he was a Brave and actually was a manager of the Braves or one of the managers of the Braves. So he's got his name. If you ever go walk around Truist Park, you can actually look at the bricks. You'll see his name out there. Along with a lot of the other great ones, ones that we pull. Since I do pull a lot in 80s and 90s, well, mostly 90s, see quite a few of those, those names. Got a uniform on backwards. All right, last pack. We can pull a crystal ball in here or will it be a future rip? I don't know. I'll be curious to see what where we are. I have not put these together to see how far we are to finishing that 135 card set. I will say that I do have another box of this because you never know. And I got it for a good price, so why not? All right. And I don't think we have the crystal ball on this one. But these are still nice cards, and I am extremely happy. I don't have to break them apart. There's Larry Walker. Their Hall of Fame, first Hall of Famer for the Rockies. And, of course, this would be when he went to the Rockies. That's what the transaction is, and he should have been, I think it was an expo. Double check. Do, do, do. Yes, X Expo. He was a free agent at the time, but he was actually one of the triple uh, the triple threats in 1990 Upper Deck. Jeff King again, Sammy Sosa. The Big Hurt, first time we saw him, Frank Thomas. 38 home runs, even in a shortened season. And of course, I've never heard anyone accuse him of enhancing and he is a hall of famer and a pretty cool georgia guy too chad curtis we got brad clontz with the braze i don't remember that name and bob tewksbury so let's take a look at what we got obviously once again a lot of base that's mostly what you're going to get in this um, except for two cards, it should be all base. To include our Extreme Core, which I'm not even going to count. We definitely got a ton of it. It looks like we got most, mostly it. You know, there's going to be four, either Extreme Core or the Transaction cards. And because those Extreme Core are so high, Transaction cards are actually a little bit thinner. There's only six. But there's four per pack. Still base cards. They're just uh, themed cards is what they call it. Well, it's, a lot of places call them subsets, but they call them themes. But we did pull that one box hit of the Power Zone cards. This time for Hall of Famer, one of the Killer Bees, Jeff Bagwell with the Houston Astros. Pretty, pretty card. So that's it. Another rip down. Another push into finishing up that, you know, that part of my collection. Uh... Definitely got, still got a lot of holes in my collection, but this is definitely going to help try to fill one of those. So I uh, hope you en enjoy this and want to join the ride. Looking for all these stadium club by joining the channel 
and that's real easy and it doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is find that subscribe button there below, or right over here, I guess, and uh, go ahead and push it. Also hit the notify bell and thumbs up the video. You know, we did find the one insert that you're gonna find a box. There should be one more. We don't know when we're gonna find it. So go ahead and thumbs up the video. And if you have any comments, drop it in the comment section below. Appreciate going on this journey with me and I look forward to doing it again. So until then, bye now.